Hi, I'm Joe Paiva with the team from Michigan Technological University in Houghton, Michigan, although I think up there, which is the Upper Peninsula, I think they say Houghton. Anyway, um, this is the 2017 NSPS student competition team from there, and I want to start with their team leader, who is over here, so I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hi, my name is Matt Kunkel. I'm the president of the Douglas Houghton student chapter of the National Society of Professional Surveyors, and I'm a junior at Michigan Technological University in the surveying engineering program. That's an amazing introduction. Next. Uh, I'm Jake Fabian. I'm a junior in the program as well, and a club member of which Matt is the president. Hello, my name is Jay Trove. I am a senior in the surveying program, and I am the vice president of the chapter. I am Aaron Miner. I am a senior in the program, and I am a member of the Douglas Houghton Student Chapter. My name is Joe Anglum. I am a uh, senior at Michigan Tech, and I am the secretary of DHSC. So tell me how you guys decided that uh, Matthew is going to be the person who leads this team. He's a natural leader. Okay, so he didn't like leave to get coffee or something, and you decided to make him the leader. Uh, no, I, he's the leader most likely because he has the most work experience. Um, seem, you know, like he said, he's a very he's a natural leader, so I think he does well with these kinds of things. So speaking of work experience, how much work experience do you have? I've I've had two uh, or three summers of internships, but Matt is the one with the most experience. So. And how about you for work experience? I interned last summer. Uh, I'm a non-traditional student, so I left my full-time work for that internship, which comprised basically of a whole summer of ADA compliant sidewalk surveys before I got into tech. Okay, so um, you are one of the teams I've actually seen present so far, and um, you actually used a laser scanner. So this is supposed to be uh, a high-precision vertical project. Uh, and I was curious how you decided to incorporate the scanner into it. Uh, we actually, the scanner is a new, a new toy we got for our department, and uh, we just we wanted to incorporate some project that uses the scanner. Very good. So it was uh, pretty creative to try and figure that out. So uh, what was your job on this entire project? Uh, my job involved a lot of uh, the helping with the technical writing and the technical report, uh, helping with the. Uh, I guess, lack of a better term, getting all of the, uh, the, the software running, working, uh, outreach to people that could help us get everything moving. What was your task or tasks? Uh, I was actually absent for most of the project, but uh, I was there for the level loop and also helped with the, the technical writing as well. And, um, and your role? I was involved with the field work from the very beginning and then assisted with writing the presentation and creation of the poster. So how did uh, the various roles in this project get uh, selected or assigned? Did you assign these all or did people volunteer? Um, actually we were taking field practice, me and Jake, at the same time last fall. So a lot of the field work got combined with labs that we had for our field practice lab and that was also part of our time constraint was that we were trying to complete all of our field work within our lab time so that put a little bit of strain on getting the field work done and getting it done right the first time. As for the roles that people stepped into I think that just kind of developed as the progress progressed and uh, the niche areas that everyone kind of specialized in became apparent right away. So Matt didn't have to crack the whip too much? Uh, just probably every day. Not more than that. Only once a day. Yeah. Okay, so um, who here has had, before this project, any experience at all actually using a scanner and processing point clouds? Nobody? Okay. No one here presenting today had any experience, but one of the people who was in our group for the lab, uh, Alan Vandenboom, he had worked on a mobile LiDAR uh, team for Spicer during the summer, so he had a little bit of experience, but not with the processing, which ended up being our biggest problem. So how did you get your processing done? Did you have other experts helping you? Uh, we 
called the experts at the Faro. Um, a lot of their IT was able to help us figure out how the geo-referencing would work, uh, getting all the points in the state plane coordinate system after the registration process was complete. The software engineers that wrote the program for the pro for processing the points, we had to get in contact with them and they helped us or assisted us through the actual process. So all in all, what do you think, um, speaking for the whole team, you would say people learned from doing this project? Uh, workflow construction and just general project management. We found that keeping just track of the documentation from the original field work proved what to be one of the biggest challenges because once it became time to check the processing we were due, we needed that on hand right away. Well, that's a really interesting uh, feedback because I know from having talked to many practitioners around the country that they would talk about the field work, they would talk about the processing, but very few surveyors would actually talk about project management or workflow management. And so that's a really interesting point of view because I think you're absolutely right to identify it. And that is one of the great benefits of actually having a formal education in surveying because uh, what I see with surveyors going out into practice that they still have a lot of learning to do in those areas. Were you going to add something to that? Well, I would say that we all know that our field practices could have been improved, but since there's typically textbook solutions for how to do that, that's why we would say project management is what we took the most from, because that's something you only get from experience itself. Well, from your reactions and your presentation, I would say that you are all going to be great additions to this profession. We certainly need lots of competent new people coming in, and I hope you will all uh, make an effort wherever you end up to join your young surveyors network organizations to uh, really build up this profession. I wish you the best with your professional life, but also uh, good luck with uh, how the competition comes out at the end of the day. Thank you.